Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Django King and today is going to be a little different. So today we're going to be doing uh, a tutorial in Filmora. So uh, we're going to be making an, a short intro for a YouTube channel or a beginner sort of thing. So uh, we're going to be making a glitchy intro in Filmora. So if you like the video, hit the like button below, share and uh, spread the awareness. So and subscribe for more videos like this. So let's get to the tutorial. Filmora is a simple video editing software from Wondershare. So check them out using the link in the description below. For this project, we're gonna need two images with text already in them. I'm using two, you can use many. So I uh, we, we have to drag and drop them below into the timeline and resize them and make them fit under 10 seconds or so because that is the best intro length I've noticed. So after we've done resizing and ordering them, we can go into the filters and you can find this VCR distortion filter. We can drag and drop that under the timeline and cut it after 5 frames. Delete the axis and move the filter uh, to the uh, end of the first image. So drag and drop. Okay. There we go. So we have this nice VCR distortion effect. So uh, the uh, next filter that we are going to be using is in the distortion category and it's called distort effect. So just drag and drop it and we are going to cut this after two frames uh, control B A and delete the excess so we have that now we're gonna copy it and paste it after one frame each so do that twice and you get this nice sort of transition so uh, we're going to go to the end of the same clip and going to do the same there uh, but this time we're gonna do it only once so uh, find the end oh, there, there, there we go so uh, that's it that's the first effect uh, then the ne next image so we're gonna do it again for the next image so cut that after two frames now we're gonna move it to the beginning and copy that and paste it after one frame so paste now move again paste ok done so we have our transition and uh, you can see that it has those glitchy lines and effects which I really like and that's what this intro is supposed to be so uh, you can see that the glitchiness has increased and the transition is pretty good so to increase the glitchiness we can add this next filter called chromatic aberration I don't know what that means but we'll just drag it down and resize it uh, a bit okay then drag it and we'll re just resize it to fit the so you can notice that uh, I've done uh, uh, in both images and I've g left some gap in them. So we're gonna be filling this gap with another effect. So uh, wait till the end of the video to see that effect. The next effect that we're gonna, we're gonna be using is for the first image. So we're going to be using this uh, effect in the common subcategory is called uh, bad TV signal. So if we can just find it, oh there it is, there it is, okay, bad TV signal effect. So we'll just drag and drop it and we'll cut it and delete the excess and move it to the first frame. Yes, there we go and we have that. So we have to resize it, so I'll just, uh, okay, I'll just make this a bit big and I'll drag along and resize it you can see that I have left a gap there as well so as to give some space for the next effect that we are going to use but first of all let's all fill the last part with some effects as it is purely empty so we'll just copy the first two effects so we can just drag and control C and I'll go to the last frame and I'll paste it there so I'll just rearrange them and there we go just drag okay we're done so that's it that's the 
basic thing so you can see our intro is coming along it's got that glitchiness but if you want to take it a step further you can add another effect called a blur effect so if we can just scroll and find it so uh, the blur effect uh, actually there are many blur effect uh, there are blur 1 and 2 and all but we are going to be using only the blur effect so if we have uh, got you have to go to distortion sub category and you have to find it there it is blur effect and what's uh, so special about this is that it is a motion blur so you have to drag it below the other effect and uh, now you have to resize it just leave the settings at what it is just leave them like that and click ok so now uh, we have this but the, you can see the blur is too much so if we drag and drop it above it won't fill the gaps so what you have to do is we have to drag the blur effect out of the timeline there okay then we'll just select all the other effects that we have planted so we'll just drag them uh, drag them down select them and drag them down and we'll fill that gap with the blur effect now what we have to do is we have to select all the other effects and we'll just bring them up so what they have done is they have filled the gaps so that's why I left gaps so if you wanted to know why that's why so that's it for the basic intro you can add text you can add elements you can add overlays there's a lot of things you can add but this is gonna be it you can add some music to it to make it a bit more worth so that's it Nango King signing out